Hey, hey, gaming family. I'm your host, Cheyenne, and I'm so excited to have you here for video five. In the previous video, we focused on adding scripts to objects in order to customize the obby and make it more unique to our taste, but also more challenging and tricky to our players. Like this. <laughs> cool, right? I know. <laughs> but I'm feeling generous to our players right now. We'll learn how to add helpful game elements like power-ups. There's a lot to get done. So why don't we get started and have some fun? If we look at our storyboard in level four, we are building out a futuristic city that has a lot of tall buildings and obstacles but it's also a greener space with more cyclists than drivers. And there's also a lot less pollution since this is our optimistic view of the city of tomorrow. Let's get to building our futuristic city. First things first, we'll need to build the infrastructure of our city. In the marketplace, I am going to search for roads and buildings to add. I am going to combine the obstacles we covered in the previous videos to make the level really difficult to pass. <laughs> As players move through each obby and the levels get harder and harder, it would be great to give them a little bit of help through power-ups. See, I can be a nice game developer, but not too nice, okay? To allow them to have special abilities, we can add power-ups throughout the obby. The power-ups can be hidden or visible to make it easier to get through certain tough sections. So the power-up I want to add is the ability to run faster through obstacles. To do this, search for speed in the marketplace and add the speed pad. Drag and drop it to a location in the workplace where speed will help the player complete the obby faster. To adjust the speed of the speed pad, go to the walk speed variable and change it to how fast you want the avatar to go once they touch the object. Now test out your power-ups. Yes, okay, it's given multifaceted. Nice job. The player now has some superhero-like abilities. Sorry, but swinging like Spider-Man and flying like Wonder Woman are still off the table for now. Like a lot of superheroes, they are tougher than the bad guys and have superhuman abilities like being invincible to damage. Okay, such a flex. Let's give our avatar the ability to be invincible. Search the marketplace for invincibility, then select this option. This part will give the avatar the ability to have max health after it touches the part. Now drag and drop the new script into our part or block. Then press play. To track your status of your health, you can go to the health and max health properties on your avatar. In the explorer search bar, type in humanoid, then scroll until you see the humanoid icon under your username. Next, look at the property screen below and scroll down to the game dropdown menu. You will see properties for your health and max health. Now, if you run over the invincibility block, then your health will turn to infinity. That's excellent. Now you're protected from a lot of dangerous obstacles, but not all of them. If you touch a spinner with a reset script or code that makes your health go instantly to zero, then your avatar will still reset even though your health was at infinity. So how do you truly become invincible? Hmm. Open the script from the invincible block. We need to attach a marker to our avatar to let the obstacles with the instant reset script like spinners and fire know that we cannot be harmed. Inside our if statement, we can create a local variable that stores the invincible marker. When the avatar touches the invincibility block, the invincible marker will be attached. Now, go to a spinner and open the script in Explorer. Go to the if statement and add a second condition to check for the invincible marker on the avatar. If the if statement reads true, such as the avatar does exist and does not have an invincible marker attached, then health should be zero. To be invincible on all dangerous obstacles, then you will need to add this code to all of your if statements. Let's test out our new ability. Press play. Run over to the invincibility block, then jump on the spinner that can identify our marker. Do you reset or are you invincible? 
we have successfully given our players the ability to use power-ups to become invincible. Get it, girl. We slaying. You can always keep exploring the marketplace for more awesome power-ups to add to your game. Why don't we each spend some time building out level four of our obby? And girl, we'll link back up when you're done. Hey, there you are. No, I missed you, I missed you. Did you finish up our futuristic city? I did as well. Here's what mine looks like. Now that we've completed level four, go to File, Save to Roblox. Thanks again for working on our obby together. Don't forget to come back to our next video where we will learn how to add sounds and music to our obby, as well as awesome banners to our checkpoints. See you very soon, gorgeous gamers. Peace, and as always, game on.